Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing God of War 2 on Titan difficulty. This is my no upgrade run plus. We're currently on installment the 12th. Sorry there, I had to look up and see which one I had titled this one. So we are in the chamber of the Phoenix guys and we must place the ashes in the fire to resurrect the Phoenix as it says right there. Uh, we can't actually pull that lever until we um, bring the ashes down here. So what we're going to do is fly on over here, and this set of cursed remains will rise, assemble, and you will fight it, and you will like it. Um, and then we'll have a Hades Legionnaire to deal with. Uh, some of the optional red ore boxes I'm going to be ignoring, just because they're um, uh, you have to go out of your way to get them, and you know, I, and any one that's in my path I'll pick up, but. If they're out of the way and if it's going to eat up too much of the video time, uh, we'll just get it the next time around, even though there won't be one as far as this game, because I, I don't uh, personally believe I can do Pain Plus. Maybe, maybe, but the, that translator section is just bullshit. Hands down, uh, bullshit. Uh, so here's the Hades Legionnaire. There is his familiar four-hit combo, and... The checkpoint over here is pretty good. Um, I don't particularly like what we're going to be doing in a few minutes because it's it's lengthy and it's not fun whatsoever. Um, but yeah, um, he'll he'll be put down in a minute. There's a whole bunch of these guys down here, and it, it's a good environment for them because um, the uh, the variants of the enemies that have like Hades in front of their names are suitable for places like this because I believe that's where their, uh, you know, like their uh, corpse counterpart is, is located down in the depths of hell. So we got a nice little parry on him and he's guarding and he poked and we got the, uh, we got the, the quick time event all wrapped up, the seal deal. Now we're going to go over here and, and go ahead and pull this lever and that's going to re retract the spikes. We are going to pick up the, um, the Hail of Boreas, I believe it's called. What's, what is it really called? Ah, I pressed the buttons too fucking fast. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're going to smash the wall. Two Hades uh, Legionnaires will come out. And uh, if you can't kill them both with the spikes, I'll show you a good way to at least rid yourself of one of them. So one of them was killed. Uh, if you launch them nearest to these spikes, they'll actually uh, get hit on top of the spikes. So if you uh, chain launch them like this, they'll get instantly murdered like that. And then go ahead and pull the lever. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get these chests since they're right here. So what you need to do is just slow down time. And you notice that when you interact with uh, worldly objects, the, the, um, the effect of the, the statue stops. So you have to... Uh, be really quick about your business um, so we've got the chests now what we need to, need to do excuse me is pull the lever once again and then start turning the crank so pull the lever stop time approach the crank and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a full revolution stop it and then uh, stop the time and then you're gonna be doing a couple of jumps over here uh, this game is just so beautiful the 60 FPS guys, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Not not only is it a, a well, like a great looking game, polished, highly detailed. You know, admittedly, it's a really old game, but from what I'm seeing, it, it looks like really fresh. And this 60 frames per second really complements it, and, and makes it look really smooth and silky. Okay, so now we're gonna come up here. There's a pair of chests right there, smashable object to the right. There's going to be a column over here which we'll need to drag. And then that's our ultimate goal, the other side of the room. But we have some tedious things to deal with. So the way that you spawn the, the, the birds and the legionnaire is to move the column up to a certain point. So there is a tripwire up here. But it's not you that crosses it, it's you and the statue that crosses it. Or rather, I should say, maybe just the statue. Um, a little ambiguous, but anyway, what you want to do is come back here. And um, if, 
if I were doing this on Pain Plus, it wouldn't be that difficult. It would just be laborious. So because we're able to use magic on this run, I'm going to stone shatter him with the head of Ureli, and then um, we're going to work on some of the birds, and then we'll work on another one of these legionnaires as we make some progress. Um, so just stay behind the column here. And it's it's just not fun. Uh, here's the next one dropping in. I'm not sure what prompts his uh, his arrival, but what we're gonna do is is just stone chatter him again. It's irritating because do you see the line back here, the line where the door was? If was there a door there? I can't remember. That was an accident. Um, he doesn't like the birds, and him. They don't come back here, so it's just frustrating. If they would just follow you back here, you could actually fight them. So it turns into a holy big sh fucking shit fest, and um, it has to take place in here. So it's um, it's just ridiculous because what what do you expect? Do you expect me to 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 wage my war in this room of fire, you sons of fucking bitches? I don't know. I, I don't know. Come on, Corey Barlog. Like, what are you thinking, man? Anyway, so. What we're going to do is uh, kill the uh, Hades Harpies here. There is a finite number of them. And if you want to, you can do the, the light heavy O-hold. Um, but what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to stay behind here and uh, jump, grab, uh, drop, and, uh, and then grab once again. There are chests on the left and on the right behind cages, but... I think I'm going to be ignoring the ones to the right for now. Um, I'm not sure what's in them. Most probably an item box and a red box over there to the right. Um, and then to the left you've got a magic box and uh, I think an item box. No, it's a, it's, it's a red box. So remember you have iframes when you are rending the, the wings off these birds, guys. Um, and it's pretty damn fair. As bullshit as this room is, uh, the detection when you get hit is really fair and on on the mark. It's really precise. So if you want to know what made me start playing this game, I was watching some IGN footage of God of War 3 uh, one day. And I said, damn it, that game looks pretty damn cool. Um, so I picked up the first game on the PlayStation 2 and started playing it. And then I was so amazed that I said, you know what? Let's just get the, the PlayStation 3 versions of these games um, because they run at 60 and, and let's play it that way. And I was, I was just blown away by this game. And now this game is looked at as uh, juvenile, isn't it? Like archaic and irrelevant. I don't understand that mentality of all these, uh, like, it's like first person has to be the wave of the future. I don't, under I don't understand it. Because this game is, is just utterly fantastic. And, and yes, sure, we've, we've had six God of War games. Um, but how many Call of Duty games have other people have? You know, how many Assassin's Creed's have other people had, you know? I, I know I've had six God of Wars, but I would like another six, please. And I don't I don't want what is going to be given to me pretty soon. But anyway, um, push that up there. It'll fall back probably. And then what you need to do is also fall back. And then same strategy from before. Um, so if you're doing this on Pain Plus, all you would really need to do is just... Um, stay back here and, and just do super plumes and it would take a while but it would eventually uh you know and, and launch them when the when the fire waves died down you would be able to launch them so okay so we've pulled the lever right the lever uh, okay so now because i need a little bit more magic i do i need magic i probably need some magic after what happened yeah so you can open the door with impunity as long as that uh, column is over there to the right. Notice that the fire waves drive it back a little bit. So you have time enough to open a chest and then go back and open another one. And, and look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm risking my whole session to get orbs that I'll never use. Classic, right? Okay, so now all you need to do is drag the statue up to um, either of the two pressure switches. 
and then the waves are going to drive that one back that column see how it did so just be quick about this and it's pretty damn fair look at that it didn't even touch me so i was very happy with that okay so this is the checkpoint over here and this is one of the reasons why i didn't care too much about how this fight happened over here or rather how it turned out even though I took a couple hits and it looked kind of bad but the, the, since the checkpoint is back there I, I, it's just like come on why, why can't you just put the checkpoint right there um, but anyway what I'm gonna do is uh, a jumping L1 attack with the barbarian hammer to do uh, some uh, some wave damage here with I'm not sure what this is called but it casts a uh, like a horizontal uh, wave right in front of you and it, it just burns and scalds these cursed remains up and some people were telling me or excuse me they're asking me well Dick how are you rolling with the barbarian hammer and what you're seeing here is is obviously you can't roll with the barbarian hammer so what you're seeing is I'm uh, unequipping it and then rolling really quickly so that's all you're seeing guys I'm not rolling with the barbarian hammer you can't so you have to get into, oh, look at this. I don't, okay, so we've got, I don't like this perspective either. It looks kind of weird, don't you think? Um, I just, the Hades Minotaur that we see here with this, um, with this companion here, and he's also got another spawn or two coming in. I just, I feel like this is, you know what? It's a it's a pretty good damn enemy. It's just a really defensive enemy. And I think that's okay because a lot of the enemies in this game, they're not really like that. And they're essentially meat for you to slaughter. Oh, it would be wise here probably, guys. Although, not the wisest thing ever, but it, it might behoove you a little bit to get the O button prompt on each of them and then execute them in tandem and then bring this guy up. Um, but that doesn't really mean that you're oh bitch See that's why I say you know I don't care if I take a little bit of that on the cheek there because or the chin however that expression goes because the checkpoint is is right before you're pushing the urn and it's tedious to have to do that so I'm gonna bust out my hammer so whenever you see me bust out my hammer serious shits going on guys so that's why that's happening here pretty pretty challenging this is a good enemy to practice your parrying on because it does require really quick reflexes to parry this enemy he's very fast I, I like the speed of this enemy and I love these quick time events on him too okay he's slaughtered we got a little bit of health now we're going to uh, pull the lever there's a quick uh, quick cutscene that I edited out and then we're going to be ascending the stairs and we've got undead legionnaires to contend with so remember that these guys are completely grabbable too they're also very fast too so I, I guess these guys would be considered uh, like any cursed legionnaire that you slayed in the game like in theory um, like these would be the ones like their ghosts that you would meet in the underworld it's pretty cool I'm really excited to play God of War 1 guys I haven't played that game in so long I, I can barely remember like what goes on in that game but like just true campaigns exist in these games like true lengthy like campaigns that are gonna last you weeks unless you're a glutton and you want to do it in one day like some of these these game rushers I, I don't understand these game rushers just slow down man just like do you have to do it in one fucking sitting I, I just I don't know haste makes waste okay so we've all um, we've all hopefully reached the top there's an item box uh, there's a red box over here to the right and then this installment is going to end when we get to the next save point. So we're going to use the Hail of Boreas that we um, pulled off of that course a little bit earlier in the video. Stick it into the wall. The door is going to open up. And we're going to um, go into a new area up here. There's the 
the Phoenix going but berserk. And then here is uh, the next zone. You see all the blood? That's from all the enemies that were fighting there. The Minotaur and the sentries. Really interesting to note that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next installment. Take care.